I just want to say a few words off the cu off the cuff. <clears throat> and there's a lot of things I have on my mind, but I have a limited schedule. But I wanted to just come up here and say a few words. First of all, um, I wanted to say that, okay, there's a lot of stuff going around that's not true. A lot of things being said that aren't true. And what I call this is journalistic sensationalism. It's like clickbait, okay? So basically, it's superficial, it's opinionated. and it is not substantiated. So here's one of the things that's going on, and this has been going on a lot, okay? You'll get different, we have free speech here in America, and by the way, somebody said in one of their, their sensationalist rumors about what's going on that Millie put up a video on YouTube and it was taken down. Millie's channel was demonetized several months ago because it's it's too appealing to your emotions and they think that it's going to incite some people to take actions that might harm somebody or something. I don't know. They said the content was harmful. Or at least that's what she's been posting. Um so there is what is called um, people that are passionate about their beliefs. And you have a right to be passionate about your beliefs, okay? I don't like people being um, censored or I believe in free speech. And I don't believe in domestic violence or lying. I don't believe in those things. Now here's one of the problems. The society is set up in a way that tolerance, we want to have peace, right? We want to have tolerance. And what does Jesus teach? Jesus teaches us to love one another. That's the highest commandment. Now, if somebody has a mental health problem and they want to go to see a psychologist, it's very difficult, even with health insurance. I know a family that's paying over a grand a month and they can't even see the therapist they want to see who's licensed because the insurance company demands so much from them. The whole thing is a racket. Now, maybe it's not really a racket, okay? Let's, let's, let's be honest. It's the way it's set up. So, the setup of society, the way it's configured, is not the way you think, right? And here's the big thing with Millie. She's created a video with her significant other, her husband. I it's her husband in my mind. They're they're married, they're wed to one another, not necessarily by civil ceremony, but in the eyes of God, maybe. I don't know. You tell me. Millie's been with Gavin a long time, and I've known her a long time, and they're both faithful to one another, and they're both passionate about what they do, and they believe in what they do. Now, do you want the thought police coming to you and telling you you can't think a certain way, and you can't express things a certain way? 
Well, there is limits on First Amendment speech, right? What What are the First Amendment limits? Hate speech, right? You're not allowed to sit and hate on people and instigate a fight or stir things up. You're not allowed to stand in a crowded theater and shout, fire, and cause people to trip over each other and maybe smash somebody running out stampeding. So basically, uh, the Constitution that we have, the American Constitution, um, is... You know, one of the things that Millie, I, I saw that this documentary, um, I went to, she's got her own website. All you have to do is go to her website, but she hasn't loaded it up yet. Uh, and there were some, what happened was she got it to another outlet. And the other outlet has been airing it for the past couple of days. Because the the way it works is Millie has, uh, this is my understanding, uh, I could be wrong, but she is what's called an independent contractor. And actually, YouTube just put up a new rule um, that has to do with these independent contractors and sponsors. They, um, I've got a channel here, so, but I don't, have the same kind of content as her really her her content is much more worked on it's much more planned and it, it's got a lot of video graphics and editing that editing is a lot of work you can spend all day editing videos I'm not doing that I'm getting up here live doing a screenshot and wearing my heart on my sleeve Sometimes I say stuff I, I wish I didn't say or give stuff away I wish I didn't give away. Because basically I have a corporation in Virginia. And I started it to help uh, homeless people because I felt bad for homeless people. And I understood that there's a lot of systemic problems where people fall through the cracks and they don't have housing. And I've gone through a lot with my family members. Uh, that have mental health problems and sometimes they get violent they uh, have uh, trouble with their filters and we all do sometimes sometimes we all get a visceral reaction come on let's face it all of us do so uh, the thing is that this here isn't planned it's unpolished it's raw it's unfiltered and a lot of people don't like that sometimes I'll be tongue-tied or holding on to my words because I'm overwhelmed with emotion or exhausted or whatever and you know it's not the same thing every day there's a whole large huge variety of content here and so people come here and they want that they, they like uh, another genre what's a genre it's just a style of what they like you know I'm more like Mr. Rogers okay so if you don't like pacifist Mr. Rogers type crud, you don't have to listen to it. Just go to another channel. But remember, remember your scriptures. Love one another is the greatest commandment. And one of the things that there's this, there's been a lot of wars brought up by extremists, extremists right? And even the Bible itself, it says, be neither hot nor cold. Moderation, right? So if you look at the scriptures, and you know, you don't have to look at, at uh, I haven't really studied the Quran or any uh, of the, so I, I've studied the Christian Old and New Testament, okay? So as long as that's interpreted correctly, and I've studied Confucianism, we can have a moral code to look at. Now, I also believe in trying to follow the law, but is the law being administered correctly? Is the system working? Does the system need updating? Does the system need reformation? 
Is there bureaucracy? Is there fraud, waste, and abuse? Well, are there agencies set up? More agencies, more agencies, whatever. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much about this. I had some ideas going in my head, and I had this idea that I have a couple of things and agencies or nonprofits that work on these very things such as freedom of speech, sharing information, freedom of thoughts, the American ideals. One of them is the EFF, Electronic Frontier Foundation. And what they do is they uh, believe in your digital rights. They want to take the laws for you to have privacy, free speech, innovative, and uh, they came uh, up, they were behind Aaron Schwartz. Uh, they are, were very sad about him. They've helped people in many different camps, and they, you know, some people are like, well, you helped uh, some radical left person or some radical right person. It's not about left and right. It's about having a, a big heart, loving one another, and as long as we're not hurting each other, as long as we're not warring with each other, uh, it should be okay, right? Well, let's cut down on violence, let's cut down on domestic violence, right? What about the police? What about the police's role in everything? Right now, I think they're giving police too much to do. I know someone that had a mental health problem. They were crying a lot. And the police detained them. They're allowed to put them on a 5150. And they treated her, this person, like dirt. And they abused her physically to capture her like an animal because she was crying. The thought police. And then she was detained for months. And, and she said, I thought there was freedom of speech. I thought there was freedom of thought. What is this thought police? And then they told me, oh, yeah, I get there's experiments on people. Like they're experimenting on them. But let's just put it this way. If someone says uh, the system is uh, needs to be reformed, are they paranoid? I mean, you can spin stuff any way you want, right? Okay, but there it really are uh, mental health problems, okay? So, and it's a judgment call. People do need help. So what we need in this country is a lot of help. It's not just Millie. She's just a sign of the times. We need to learn to discern, and we need to learn how to turn off visceral reactions, right? I do not think the police should be involved with mental health patients. I think mental health professionals should. Now, what Millie was saying in her documentary is they're trying to take us to the fourth industrial revolution where they replace the police with AI. There won't be any human, hardly any human police. They have robots that will come in that are that have weapons and they will detain you and the weapons could have drugs in it to knock you out or cause you to hallucinate and make you look like a psychotic so when you look at agencies that are already out there like EFF the Electric Front Frontier Foundation you're seeing somebody who says, look, I'm not taking sides left or right. My side is with freedom of speech, speech with humanity first, okay? And some people get really offended if they help a white supremacist or if they help a BLM, Black Lives Matter, uh, 
Black Panther or something, right? So people are like, no, you got to pick a side. They're not picking a side. Their side is on the Constitution. It's on free speech. It's on your right to privacy. People shouldn't be spying on you. And it's on freedom of press. Julian Assange. Now what Millie was saying in her video was extremely, uh, it was, it was tying together a weaving, you know, like a weaver, a tapestry, Millie Weaver. <laughs> her, that's her father's last name. I, I mean, that's from her paternal line. Um, she didn't, she doesn't have a married name on her. So you tell me if she's married. I don't know. I think she is married. Okay, so, and I believe she's loyal and a good Christian to uh, Gavin Wentz, okay? So things aren't always what you seem. And I think people have a right to privacy. And I think that people that have mental health problems or if they suffer from delusions or if they uh, have any kind of mental health problems, that that's their private business. And I don't think they should be putting up reports that Millie said, an article said, if you look at one of these news articles, and I'm not putting up the news article because there's too many ads. This here, EFF, Electronic Frontier Foundation, is a not-for-profit. They have loads of content in here about the cases. It's got a bunch of lawyers working in here. And they talk about free speech and everything. I think they have a channel on YouTube. I don't know. Let's go see. They don't... I don't know how much content they put put up here. It's not very often. The last time they put up a video was uh, a year ago. Um, they talk about... A lot of the work they do was, was, is with intellectual property and stuff. But what I'm... And a lot of it focuses on uh, digital digital law and things like that. But it's it's a not for profit or non profit, and um, they don't get political. Hey, I should subscribe to them. I didn't realize. Okay, I thought I was subscribed. Okay, so the last time was a year ago. Anyway, this is the long and short of it. Okay, we can uh, we can be we can hang together. We can bow our heads in prayer, we can work for peace and love and the ideals of freedom of speech without getting violent, without domestic violence, we can um, do things peacefully. There were uh, some sev several civil, civil rights movements that I studied and there was one uh, by Mahatma Gandhi and uh, Mahatma Gandhi had a entire revolution. Now, over in um, Hong Kong, they're trying to have a revolution, and so you don't. Mahatma Gandhi was a lawyer, and he he was a lawyer over in India, and Britain was a colonist there, and. Um, they didn't want colonists taking over their Indian culture. They wanted their right to free speech. They didn't want to be Christianized. They wanted to be uh, having their own religions. And they did have a caste system. They don't have it as much. Uh, Britain had a great influence on them and did, uh, did, um, did help them, but the way that he got his country changed was peaceful. Okay, you can get more done peacefully than you can violently, because violence, um, although it's effective for a minute, you have not, there's a saying, you have not converted a man because you have silenced him. And Jesus taught pacifism the whole time. He said the Old Testament is wrong. That eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, that's wrong. Because, you know, some people are mentally ill. They don't understand what they're doing. Some people have visceral, uncontrollable reactions. Their, their mind is bothering them. They're full of anxiety. 
they're panicking, and they're making stupid decisions. So let's not panic, okay? This thing can be resolved. Now, are the courts fair? Not always, okay? There's, there are scapegoats. There's all kinds of layers in here. There's all kinds of things going on. And a, there's a lot of truth in that video that Millie showed. But I, I was looking at it and I was like, can you tell me something I don't know? The only thing that I don't know about is that coup. Well, there is a resistance against Trump. I know about it. Um, there are a bunch of leftists that are peacefully demonstrating. The minute he took office because of the, the, um, the popular vote, people were uh, not happy because they wanted, um, they wanted ref reformation um, for the popular vote. Uh, they wanted Hillary in office because they wanted a woman in office because they thought women should be treated equally. And it's kind of interesting that we're now on the 100th anniversary of uh, the signing of the women's right to vote. It's it's right right now. It's happening right now. And I've heard men saying they don't think women should have the right to vote. You know, women and children used to be considered property, and they were violent toward them. There was domestic violence, and they didn't treat them right. And people, uh, behavior is learned. Attitudes are learned. And it's kind of like you need to deprogram people or something like that. But w wait a minute, is that the thought police? Well, let me show you a way to think, do, be, and behave that's... Uh, more productive, not counterproductive. Let me show you a way that is respectful and reverent for females, for diversity, tolerance, love one another, love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor might not belong to the same religion as you. So anyway, as far as Millie goes, Millie talked about some deep stuff, and the deep stuff uh, still waters also run deep where you're quiet and there's a lot of things going on during this fourth industrial revolution are you going to be the change you wish to see are you going to be a voice for the unheard H what is your role in all of this I really believe that there is a spiritual warfare going on and that we are entering a new age and it's almost like the fifth industrial revolution and the laws have not caught up with the new industrial revolution and there are people that want to hang on to the old traditions um, and look, Millie's just trying to make a living, okay? And she's trying to be a good Christian wife to her spouse, the father of her children. And he has uh, come to her and he's helped her to promote her, to film her, to edit the films, to put it together. He has the master's degree. He's, um, he's seeing her beauty and her uh, talent, and she's very, very talented and intelligent, and he has been, you know, he's behind her. You know how they say behind every man is a good woman? Well, behind every, you know, there's also, it, it, and I hate to sound like a, a Clinton or something, but it takes a village, right? We all... Um, I know that's cringe, right? <laughs> so, anyway, let's try not to be too hot or cold, and let's try to pray, okay? Because prayer helps us to, and then if we get calm, we can think of creative ways 
to help the police so they're not doing work that they shouldn't even be doing. I did a video on the police are are working uh, with psychologists, but they're being asked to be act like medical orderlies. So they um. So they're putting, um, they're getting medics to inject them with ket ketamine, which is going to knock them out and cause them to hallucinate. And of course, they're going to look like they're insane, right? They can do that. They can call the police in and they can, you know, restrain you. And believe me, I know people and they're white people that have been beaten by the police. Police brutality. Oh, we're bringing you in on a domestic violence here. Let's let's beat you for uh, beating somebody else. No, it's not an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. They, that's wrong. Okay, that's wrong scripture. That's wrong thinking. And I'm gonna get off here because I got a busy day today, and I just wanted to pop in and say hi, and to let you know that no. YouTube did not take down Millie's video. She didn't put it on YouTube yet. And Millie has her own website, and she said she was going to put it up. And her website is called Millennial Millie, okay? I don't even know how to spell it. Um, here's her website, okay? I I'm putting this below. She put out a v video, and basically, she gets uh, money as a, um, like, if she creates a video that Alex Jones wants, she has to spend all her own money, her travel money, her software, you know, they have equipment that they use, uh, editing equipment and things like that. And they create these videos, she and her husband, and I don't know who else. And they put up content and then Alex Jones will buy the rights to some of the content. But she doesn't get a salary from him. It's per diem. It's like a commission. Okay? She has to pay her own taxes. She has to take out, uh, you know, and sit there and be a bean counter like she's incorporated and say, I spent X amount of dollars. She's, I don't know, maybe they have an accountant. I... I um, just know that um, I watched the video on another channel, not a channel, but another website. There's a couple of websites where you can watch other videos. So um, that's it. I want to thank you for watching. I hope I, I, w I wasn't too painful to watch because it's, it's raw and unfiltered. And it's just me putting down words about my thoughts. And I think we need reform in mental health, in um, laws, in courts, in uh, the system. We need to refine it. We need to fix it. And I think that's the reason Trump was elected. People want the system fixed. And there is a, uh, there are differing opinions, but I think that we should be more tolerant of people that have different opinions because you're not going to convince them by getting violent, okay? And I don't know who's stirring and stirring up these agitators, but you don't solve anything by being destructive. You cause more problems. And the same thing goes even in your personal life. There's a thing called domestic violence and the, and the, and the, um, now, I'll tell you right now, Millie is not beating her mother, okay? So just get that vision out of your mind. Um, there was a domestic dispute. There, it's a trumped-up charge as far as I'm concerned, but a do domestic violence is a problem, and, and I'm not saying it isn't. I think what what should have been done, and, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? So I, I've done uh, videos before on the cycle of violence. But basically, this is about learning things about behavior, about relating. And, you know, a lot of people were raised in this old-fashioned, hierarchical 
top down. This world doesn't work that way. It doesn't work top down anymore. And whether or not you realize it, there is no dictator up there, okay? And that's kind of what um, Millie was saying in her video. She was saying, look, Trump won because they let him win. They let him win because they didn't want Hillary to win. Why didn't they want Hillary to win? I don't know. I, it wasn't quite clear to me. It wasn't crystal clear. But what one thing that I do want to say is that um, there is there is this this um, I took a class in propaganda and persuasion. Governments use this all the time. This is nothing new. I've talked about it on my channel before. Now, a lot of my videos and stuff got locked up. I had my channel down for a little bit, and consequently, my videos got locked. A lot of my videos are getting flagged. They're getting flagged by AI. A lot of times when I say review it, they review it and they realize it's not bad. So there is this censorship. You can't creatively create stuff because they're programming their AI and their bots wrong. So with this uh, power and control cycle of abuse, and by the way, it's abusive to censor speech. And there's a lot of different kinds of abuse. There's economic abuse. Now, there are a lot of marginalized people that are marginalized economically. Now, if this is too difficult for you to understand, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know how to break it down that much differently. Hey, guys, I got to get running. I'm really uh, praying. Uh, please pray for Millie and her family. For Please pray for our country because our Constitution is hanging by a thread. And... A lot of people are being marginalized, and one of the ways they're being marginalized is by uh, people washing their hands, and they're wanting employees that they they don't have to have limits on their hours spent working. So they say, oh, you be an independent contractor. You can earn as much as you want. You can be mad money rich, and I'll throw you some crumbs. And uh, you can raise money other ways. That's what they do to real estate now, agents now. Real estate agents, most of them, the majority, I would say like 90% are independent contractors. And they flood the market with them. There's a whole layer of society going on and it's like turning into gig work. So you have these people that have to really hustle. Millie works really hard. She's got two little kids. And she... Um, has a lot of work she's she's really working hard and it's very hard with young kids so uh and i saw the video i don't think the video is dangerous it it depends on i think we should have free speech and uh you know people can think what they want if somebody's paranoid, they're going to be paranoid. It doesn't matter if you put a video up or not. It's a peaceful video. It's saying that, you know, things are a certain way. But, you know, that's, you know, marketing, PR, you know, different things. Now, is she is she correct about... It doesn't... The people she interviewed said it. She didn't say it, okay? She's just reiterating what the people said and is she checking her sources and everything like that I don't know you know I don't know all I know is it was a nice piece well I don't know if it was. I know that it was uh, professionally done as far as the documentary goes and I gotta get running I wanna thank you for listening and take care bye